we're here today at our Penguin Falls habitat with Joanna on the bird team because we have a little surprise for you. Now we're not going to give too much away, so we're going to show you. So come on. Ready to go? Yeah. Sorry, Rob, you're going to have to stay there. Just keep right to the I'm kidding, come inside. Okay. So welcome to our behind the scenes at our African Penguin enclosure. Um, so yeah, exciting announcement. We actually hatched out two little African penguin chicks, which we are now looking at. So that takes us up to 19, 19 penguins 19, we have here yeah. at the zoo, and they're all critically endangered. I'm doing a lot of work with Sankob, who are a conservation partner in South Africa as well. Uh, so should we go check them out? Sure, if you want to have a look on the CCTV first, you'll be able to have a little sneak preview. So it's this next box up the top here, and we'll pull it up on the screen. So you can just about see under mum and dad there. See, oh, two wow. little chicks. Oh, they're getting quite big as well. Yeah, they grow super, super quick. They don't stay small for long. And how, how old are they right now? So these guys are hatched out around the 12th of September. September, okay. Yeah. Nice. And parents are Albert and Kiki. Albert and Kiki, yeah. So yeah, what we'll do is actually breakfast time. So we'll get some food ready, go and feed mum and dad, and hopefully we can get a bit close to the chicks. And we're going to be giving them sprat. Sprat today, yeah. So we're going to weigh out a little bit of sprat for them. And then I'm going to get some gloves on. Cool. You're welcome to join as well. Yes. No one wants smelly fish hands. Okay. Yeah, we weigh out a little bit of fish. Just make sure that we've got two parents. So how much would the chicks need to have a day? So, at this age, they don't eat an awful lot. The parents will feed them sort of every few hours or so. Every time they eat, the chicks will get a little bit of fish. And it's regurgitation, right? Yeah, it's super pleasant. So how does that work for anyone watching? So basically, the parents eat the food. The chicks don't take any food from us yet. So the parents will take it and then bring it back up in sort of like a pushing mess. So yeah, head out and see it. There's the pinguinos. Hey guys, how are you doing? So you got mum on this side, dad on this side. Mm. Two chicks in the middle. Hey. Okay. Look at the chicks. So if you want to offer them some food, feel Absolutely. free. And We've got our bucket. We've got a sprat. Okay. Try not to get nipped. So Albert and Akiki are experienced parents. These no. guys have had okay. chicks before. These are not their first two. Um, so they are super, super good parents. Albert has been a little bit cheeky in the past and had partners and chicks with penguins that aren't a keepy. They are supposed to pair for life, but Albert's got other ideas. Um, but yeah, they'll both share in looking after the chicks. Mum and Dad both incubate the eggs and both look after the chicks as well. Usually what they'll do is swap over each feed, so Mum will have some food in the morning and Dad will sit on the chicks and then they'll do the switch and swap over. As you can see, the nest is super, super well kept. And is Albert on the left here? Uh, this is a kiki. a kiki. That's Albert down that side. I mean, they've, they've been really successful with yeah, chicks. Yeah, they're you know? super successful with chicks. Um, you may have seen we had Marley in December, who is also these guys' chicks. So she's effectively this chick's older sister. Um, and she's still doing really, really well. She keeps poking her head back in to see what the chicks are up to. Yeah. They won't stay well. small and fluffy for long either. And why is having chicks, uh, I mean, important for, for good zoos and today as well? So obviously African penguins out in the wild are already classed as an endangered species and, and their numbers aren't doing very well in the wild and as we speak the numbers are still dropping so it's really important that we do our bit in captivity, keep those bloodlines nice and strong um, so these guys are part of a European breeding programme so these chicks might go off elsewhere to breed who knows, we don't know what their future holds for them just yet but they're doing really well, they're really healthy and strong, I'm really happy with nope. them okay. How about this one? Hungry, Albert. No, we just want to play with the fish. Okay. We'll open up the bottom door just to get a little bit of a How are we doing, guys? Yeah. Hello, chick. So, one chick is slightly smaller than the other, um, as it's about three days younger, but not much of a difference between the two of them now. Um, and they've obviously still got all their baby fluff at the minute. They'll lose that when they get to about three months old. They'll get 
their waterproof feathers through. I can't believe how large they already are. <laughs> I know, they're only about three weeks old and they've probably quadrupled in size, I'd say. And they grow super, super quick. Obviously in the wild, chicks are most vulnerable to predators and things. When you're a small chick, there's lots of things that are like to eat you. Um, so they grow super, super quick. So by, I would say, three, four months old, they're usually pretty much as big as the parents. And usually by the time they start venturing out, they actually weigh more than mum and dad they've just been sat in here gorging themselves on food. So they are super protective parents. They do look after their chicks really, really well. And that is why I'm not going any closer because <laughs> penguins can nip and it is a bit pretty painful. Oh, they're amazing. They feel really big. Big old feet, I've never yeah. noticed yeah. the previous penguin chicks that I've seen the feet being that big, but wow. They grow into them. The feet always grow quicker than the penguins. They're like slippers. <laughs> well, guys, I think we'll leave you to it. And I'll see you soon. There we are. Let's shut this up. Joe, thank you so much for showing us behind the scenes of our penguin <laughs> habitat. It was really awesome to see our new chicks. They're looking very good and the family is growing even more. So thank you all so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks guys. <laughs>